Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our fantastic creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are at AuthorCon and Film Festival in Oneonta, New York at the Holiday Inn, hosted by DTM Wicked Radio. We're hanging with actor Jeremy Ambler from The Walking Dead. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for hanging with us. Glad to be here. Us. Glad to be here. So tell us... Um, do you only do The Walking Dead, or do you have other projects? No, I've been in a bunch of other movies and shows. Like what? Well, Tell us. Uh, <laughs> I was in The Road with Viggo Mortensen. I was in uh, Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Uh, most recently, I was in James Franco's Child of God. Okay. The All remake right. of The Town of the Dreaded Sundown with Veronica Cartwright and Gary Cole. But right. uh, Do you mostly know. do horror and all that? No, not really. It's just a mixture. A mixture of stuff, you know. I've did, been in comedies, I've been in horror films, I've been in dramas, historical nice. dramas, all kinds of different things. Oh, cool. Um, when did you decide that you wanted to be an actor? Well, you know, as a as a kid growing up watching the old classic uni Universal monster movies, you know, like your Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, stuff like that, you know, with Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff mm -hmm. and Lon Chaney Jr., you know, I was just mesmerized by the the makeups, the makeups and the sets and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I want to do that one day. I want to I want to be in put put into that kind of makeup. Oh, awesome. Um, what's the most extreme change that you've had to make physically to do it a role, like hair, teeth, uh, stuff like that? I mean. I don't really know. I mean, that's, I mean, makeup, makeup really don't bother me, you know, and I've been in full body makeup, I've been in, I've had wigs put on me, you know, you name it, they've, they've done it, but uh, the contact lenses for Walking Dead is one thing that I really don't like, mm. you know, uh, they put They're those in your... They're sensitive, right? They hurt your eyes? Well, they didn't hurt mine until they were actually taken out. Really? Yeah, they're a, it's a full eye contact lens. It's a sclera lens, and it goes all the way around the eyeball. And uh, every time you you blink your eyes, you can you can feel that. Yeah, you feel like that there's something there. Yeah. yeah. So that's the that's the only thing as far as any kind of movie or show. I mean, if it's contacts involved, then you're there's going to be some discomfort. But it it's all within the job. Some you know you. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just bear down and bear it, I mean, when it comes to that. <laughs> yep. um, how do you prepare for a role? Do you do a lot of research? Does it depend on the character? It depends on the character. And, like, if it's a, if it's a speaking role, then there's, of course, there's dialogue, and you, you practice, and you, when you go in on the set, then, you know, if it's a couple lines, then they expect you to to know your lines and you know you get it done but uh if it's like, something like walking dead for instance it's um zombie school zombie school is a three-hour workshop what was for me and you know you go in you watch clips from night of the living dead dawn of the dead stuff like that and then you basically do your imitation of of a zombie of a walker for greg nicotero and basically they rate you on a scale from one to five and then they will contact you and let you know if you're going to be a part of the show or, or what exactly you're going to be doing because there's different groups of walkers. Oh. There's your feature walkers, your mid-ground walkers, and then your way in the back, background walkers <laughs> and stuff. So it's, uh, you really never know what you're going to be doing when they cast you. Oh. Um, out of all the roles that you've played, which um, character was the toughest for you to get well, into character? None of them per se, because the whole zombie, the whole zombie walk and stuff is 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 very easy. I can just somebody says do your zombie walk, then I do it, you know. <laughs> but now, like for instance, when I worked on Killing Lincoln as George Robinson, 
the directors, the casting people said, you know, have you ever done stunts before? And I said, well, you know, other than Walking Dead falling backwards, I've never done stunts before. So they're like, are you comfortable with possibly doing a, a stunt? I'm like, depends on what it is, as long as, you know, you have your stunt coordinator and everything to train you. And Kid Richmond actually was our stunt coordinator on that. And it's a scene where I get attacked by Josh Murray's character, Lewis Powell. And he attacks me with a knife, and then he goes in for to, to William Seward and starts stabbing him in the face after he slashes me in the forehead. And I jump up on Powell's back to get him off of Seward. And it's all this motion of him trying to get me off his back, all this physical stuff. And then he attacks me again. And um, so by far, you know, and it, it was so crazy because when Kid Richmond was talking to me on the phone, the first time I talked to him, he said, he said, you know, you're going to come out of this, so you'll be bruised at least. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, whatever. But let me tell you, purple, blue, chest, arms, I mean, even though, you know, they give you the protective stuff, mm -hmm. knee pads, back pads, all this stuff still came out. Yeah, all up. beaten up. Yeah, I mean, I I felt like it after I was done with with the part. But and you and you see that on camera, and you, and you watch the in, in the show, and it don't even look that rough. But it was it was very very physical, wow. very very physical and rough. What's the most memorable thing that's happened to you on a set? Good, bad, funny, quirky. You work with a lot of divas. <laughs> well, no, I've never worked. You know what? Everybody that I've ever worked with. Everybody that I've ever worked with has always been fantastic. Fantastic to work with. Wonderful people. I mean, Viggo Mortensen, Paul Giamatti were awesome. The the whole cast of Walking Dead, it's just like having a second family pretty much. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, uh, just, it is. And I worked with all the original cast members before anybody was killed off. So oh, it was really, so cool. really, really cool, yeah. Yes. So what sort of roles are you looking to do in the future that you haven't done yet? Well, you know, anything... anything Anything that comes about, I mean, I pretty much have fulfilled what I wanted to do, oh. you know. So, you know, anything that comes about that's cool and interesting. I mean, I've played anywhere between dead people or already dead people to zombies to, to drug addicts to, I mean, you name it. Historical figures, I've, I've played it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's yeah. That's fantastic. That's quite an impressive right. resume. So what's coming up for you um, after today? Do you have anything um, new in the making? Well, you know, I've got a, I've got a couple movies uh, that's going to be coming out. I've got one. It's, it's called What the Night Can Do, and it has Stuart Margolin that played Angel on the Rock for Fowls with James Garner. Okay. And also has Joe Beth Williams from the Poltergeist yeah. movies. And uh, Mercedes Mason is also in it from Fear the Walking Dead. So uh, I have a small scene in that, and then I did stand-in work for, for Stuart and Max Martini that's also in it okay. as well. So I've got that coming out at some point, and then I have uh, Toxic Tutu, which is making the rounds now on different film festivals and conventions and stuff. It's a mockumentary film okay. about the Toxic Avenger, and it actually has some of the original cast, like Mark Torgel that played Melvin, the okay. mop boy. And I actually, I play Sheriff Walker in it, and I get Johnny Fairplay from Survivor. I get him uh, beat up by Jake the Snake Roberts. So all kinds of, all kinds of crazy stuff goes on yeah. in that. But uh, that, and then I have a movie that's actually going to be coming out in January next year. It's called Choices, and it's based on a true story about a man, Ron James, uh, that was in and out of prisons for over 25 years, and I play a drug addict in that. But uh, just, uh, you know, that and then many, many conventions and appearances and stuff coming up. So it's just all kinds of stuff. And, I, and I, hope, I hope that I get to do more, you know. Uh, I may be actually working on there's a possibility, which I'm not really for sure right now, but uh, John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg that directed the Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay yes. and American Reunion. They're good buddies of mine, and they've used me in those films. They're directing the Karate Kid, the new Karate Kid TV oh, series, yes. Cobra Kai, yes. with Ralph Macchio, William Zabeka, Martin Cove, and I'm actually supposed to be in one of the episodes doing something. Nice. So hopefully, hopefully that they'll they'll work all that out and get me in there. Oh, so I hope so that would right. be fantastic. 
And where can people find you, not that we have to ask? Find me on Facebook. Yeah, just look up Jeremy Ambler and then Jeremy TWD Ambler, which is the fan page, too. So. Awesome. Do we have time for a game? Let's play Never Have I Ever, because I haven't played that today. <laughs> so we're just going to pick a card at random. Okay. And hopefully not embarrass ourselves too much. Right, right. <laughs> okay, pick a card, any card. Right. Oh, I got a good one. <laughs> uh, you want me to go first? <laughs> you can. I mean, mine's not that bad. But it... <laughs> well, good. Mine says, never have I ever tried to contact a deceased person. Yes, I have. <laughs> right. Mine says, never have I ever asked how many kids do you want on a first date? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever? No. no. <laughs> I would surely hope not. I wouldn't get very far if I did. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast. We've had so much fun hanging with Jeremy today. I'm Allison Murray, but before we go, we'd like to thank our partners at Famous Faces and Funnies, Space Coast Comics, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, the Florida Book News, Wordfire Press, our great friends at Summon Unique Magazine, our brand new partner, ACES, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed. Heather, yes. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much, You're Jeremy. Welcome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.